Bloodborne is finally available on PC. Okay, that's a lie. This video is about a 16-bit Bloodborne demake called Yarntown. It's available on Itch.io and can be downloaded for free right now. The following is an edited version of my blind playthrough of the game. I wasn't sure I was even going to upload this, but by the end, the game's charm won me over and I had to find some way to talk about it. Truth be told, the gameplay has a lot more in common with top-down Zelda games like A Link to the Past and Minish Cap than it does with Bloodborne. But if you like Zelda and the Bloodborne aesthetic, stick around and let me show you how this one-man indie game won me over. So I got on Twitter this morning and saw that this guy, Max Mraz, uploaded a fan-made demake of Bloodborne in like a 16-bit art style. I really know nothing about this, but I mean, it's a Bloodborne fan game. So we're going to check it out. Spaces roll. Oh yeah, this is very Minish Cap. X is the gun, C. Interesting. That's very Zelda too. And V is heal. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I can level up. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of cool though. So, hmm, I'm assuming this game probably only has the, uh, what I guess is the saw cleaver. I mean, it looks more like a sword, but, so how is strength and skill different? I mean, there's a gun, but there's no blood tinge, so interesting. Okay, we'll see. This is literally Minish Cap. Is that not the Minish Cap animation? I think it's the Minish Cap animation slowed down. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! There's weapon upgrades too, okay. Uh, well, I need like a gravestone then. Which is easier said than done. Um, oh hey, I bet it's these things. Or not. Doll. Doll, help me, where do I go? <laughs> Please, doll. Oh. Okay, then. You go through the archway thing. Well, if you can just walk to the dream, then what does this mean? Oh, shit. Okay, so you can level up all right, well, I'm probably ne not going to go back to the dream then, right? I guess we'll see. Can I break the barrels? Yes! Okay. Alright, so- oh shit, he's fast. God, alright, calm down. That has way more range than I thought. Okay. I'm not going to be, like, ready to heal when the time comes. You can't break the boxes. Oh, man. That's that's a shame. Oh, is there going to be, like, a executioner? Uh, well, no, it's a little troll guy. Okay, come here. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, he does a lot of damage. Quite a bit. We're just going to... Okay, that wasn't bad. Cool. Oh, hello. God damn! Oh yeah, I should probably be using my gun. Let's try that. Oh god. Okay, alright, alright then. Yeah, this definitely feels like playing Bloodborne for the first time. Jesus Christ. It's kind of cool that, like, I know where I am. You know what I mean? Uh, we're gonna cheese the dog. Interesting. So we're getting, like, somewhere close to the Cleric Beast, kinda. 
Okay, so there's a little shortcut that I guess you can still do. Oh, look at the dog! <laughs> okay. Shit, shit. Did he just walk through a wall? Oh, come on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, alright. God fucking shit. Please. Please. Okay. I almost died. Um... So I get the feeling that Cleric is through here. Sure. He can't be too hard, right? There he is. Okay, he doesn't care about bullets at all. Okay. We're gonna, oh, okay, that hit quite hard. Shit. We're gonna heal, just because we can. Oh, he's taking very little damage. Shit. 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 Okay, so I'm not quite as safe behind him as I think I am. Ah, oh, fuck. I need you to. Okay, I think I. I think I really do need to be underneath him. Yeah, that is definitely the way to do this. Except I'm still getting hit. Shit! Fuck! 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 Oh wait, can I just like cheese you right here? This dude has so much health. I'm gonna have to upgrade before I fight guys going. You do be cute, though. I was gonna say, do I get a lamp? Uh, yes, please. I still don't know the difference between strength and skill, but I'm kind of thinking I want to put it all in strength, which is funny because that's not at all what I do when I normally play Bloodborne. Okay. See, normally this is where the hunter set is, but like, I'm wearing the hunter set. Oh shit. <laughs> Tell me my dude doesn't look like Chad Gannon right now. Nice vest, bro. Oh, okay. Alright. I am very surprised you went for zombies and not lycanthropes when it came to your enemies in your Bloodborne fan game. But you know what? Whatever floats your boat, dude. Oh, she's not here. <laughs> no! Where is my bird wife? Who's gonna tell me to hoont? Oh, wait, what? Ooh. Okay, that needs a little tightening. Wait, can I like go through this door? I can. Where is this? Oh, this is the elevator. It's just not an elevator in this game. Interesting. Boy, that's strange. But yeah, that's the elevator. And then this is the bridge where the rock, uh, or like the boulder that's on fire comes down. This is going to be the most dangerous thing in the entire game. Holy shit. Oh my god, I can't. Please. No, no, there's not time for Quicksilver Bullet. Stop. Oh, this, I don't see this going well at all. Here we go. I'm just going to do the same strategy as the main game. Oh, I'm doing so much damage on him! Okay! Mm. 
All right, transform. What? Oh, there's no transformation? Surely it's gonna like fake me out. I get the sense that this is kind of like a in progress game still, which is cool. <laughs> okay, hi. Oh, that's it, huh? Although I guess there is one more thing I can do. I need to walk back and upgrade my weapon the last time. Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god, stop! Oh. Um. Mmm. Well. Well. Mmm. That's that. I'm stuck. Uh. Hold on. Can I save right now? No. It's not letting me do anything right now. I can swing my sword and take stamina without swinging. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I think we're done. All jokes aside, this is a pretty cool little half hour game. And if you'd like to try it out for yourself for free, I have Max's Itch.io page linked in the description. This game isn't perfect by any means, but it's also free and made by one man team out of passion for a game we all love. So I definitely think it's worth your time to check it out. It's made for Windows, but it can also be played on Mac and Linux through the Solaris launcher if you know what that is. I know this is not my normal video style by any means, but I was frankly just really enthralled by how charming this project is, and had to throw something together to help more people discover it. So let me know what you think. Hope this video has been a pleasure as always. Thanks for watching.